So eight and a quarter minus two and three quarters. You look at that and you think, well, eight minus two is six. That's great. But now I'm doing my quarter subtraction. A quarter minus three quarters is actually negative two quarters. So that's not helping, right? So I need to borrow to make this work out. That's the first thing to see. I, I've got to borrow here if this is going to work out. Do you all see that? We need some type of borrowing to go on. Yeah. So I'm going to split this eight up, and I'm going to take quarters out of it. It's like at a, you're at an arcade, and you put a dollar in the machine, and you get four quarters out. But I've got eight dollars, so I'm going to split that into seven dollars plus one. Okay. And one of those dollars, I'm going to convert to quarters. So the eight, and I do want to work with quarters, like you say, because we want these bottoms to be the same. We want to deal in quarters here, right? So the eight becomes seven plus one, or seven and four quarters, right? So eight becomes seven plus four quarters. Do we understand that? Yeah. But we have another quarter here because eight and a quarter makes seven and four quarters plus another quarter. So that makes seven and five quarters. Any questions on that? And that's the hardest step. If you get that, the rest will work out. But it's turning the eight and a quarter into seven and five quarters. Let's just think carefully about that. Does that make full sense there, everyone? Yeah. Because yeah, once we have that, then the rest is easy because it's just like, okay, 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 quarters minus 3 quarters. See, this is great now because the 5 is bigger than the 3. 5 quarters minus 3 quarters is 2 quarters. Right. And we didn't have that the last time, two quarters. That's great. So the last time we had one quarter minus three quarters, and, and that, that gives a negative two quarters. So that wasn't helping, right? So this is five and two quarters, or if we simplify two quarters, we get five and one half. One half, right. You can simplify your answer, five and a half. Okay, any questions on that guy? No. All right. 